ओम सहना सहनो भुन सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मेषावह ओ शातिशाशा ओ पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णा पूर्णमुद्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाशाशा ओ आप्यायंत ममंगा वाणश्चक्षुश्रोत्रमथो बलमींद्रिया चर्वाणे सर्व ब्रह्मषद ब्रह्म निराकुरिया ब्रह्म निराकरोराकरणमस्वराक मे अस्त तदात्मते यौपनिषत्सु धर्मस्ते मयि सत मयि सत शातिशातिशातिस्मृतिपुरा आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवतन पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमदेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओमीतक्षरमुदीतमुपीत ओमीतुदाते तस्ोपव्याख्या Page three twenty six. Page three twenty eight. Sorry. Yada vai mante, apne vijana de, na amatwa vijana de. मत्वजाते मतिस्व विजिज्ञासत वेदे मतिं भगव विजिज्ञासे इदे यदा वे मनुते अथ विजानाते सो फर्स्ट इज यदा वे विजानाते अथ सत्यम वदति when one knows the truth then one speaks the truth so speaking truth satyam vadate so when speaking truth is the same as yes satyena ati vadate esha tu vai ati vadate yes satyena ati vadate he alone is called an ativadi one who transcends all in speech that ativadi a person can be called ativar in the true sense when he transcends everything by virtue of knowledge of satyam or truth he was called ativadi 
even by virtue of knowledge of prana, then Shruti herself said that no, in the real sense it becomes Ativadi only when he knows Satyam. Then when he speaks Satyam, then he transcends everything which is Mithya. Everything else being Mithya, he automatically transcends everything when he speaks Satyam. So, when does he speak Satyam? So he becomes Ativadi. Ativadi is the goal, being Ativadi, becoming one who transcends everything in speech. Meaning, of course, he can transcend everything in speech, provided he transcends everything in his mind. And he transcends everything in mind, provided he transcends everything in his vision, in his knowledge. So, Yadavai Vijanati Asa Ativadi Bhavati. When he knows the truth, then it becomes the Ativadi in the true sense. So, becoming Ativadi is the goal. One who transcends everything. That is like moksha here. So, when do you become Ativadi? Yadavai Vijanati, when he knows. When he knows the Satyam, when he knows Satyam or Truth as his own self, then naturally he transcends everything. Anutam, Vikaradatam, Vachanam, Madam Hitva. Then giving up, discarding, negating, transcending everything is Vikaradatam. So two categories are there Satyam and anurtam. Either you call it mithya or call it anurtam. Mrutam, anurtam. Anurtam, vikara jatam, host of all vikara or modifications, the entire creation, which is a superimposition. So what is meant by transcendent is he recognizes the mithya as mithya. The problem was, so far, he took the mithya to be satyam to be real. What is unreal is so, real is something that you depend upon. Real is something that you trust. Unfortunately, it is mithya that you are trusting. And therefore, your trust can never be validated. You find your trust is violated again and again. And that causes pain to you again and again. So only when Satyam is known as Mithya is known as Mithya and Satyam is known as Satyam, then Mithya is taken as Mithya and therefore you have that attitude. Our attitude depends upon what our perception is. Look upon something as real, then that our attitude is one kind. When we know that it is an appearance, then our attitude is of a different kind. So an appearance, mithya, is seen as mithya, then what is my attitude? One of accepting, accommodating, because mithya does not really matter what it is. A mithya apple, whether it's a red, or green, or large, or small, does not matter because of Mithya. Because Mithya cannot add anything into me, nor can Mithya take away anything from me, if I know Mithya is Mithya. Satyam can add something to me. Satyam can take away something from me. So far, I looked upon Mithya as Satyam always thought it was adding something to me and taking away something from me, which is all problem. Add something to me, I feel happy, which is a false sense of happiness. And takes away something from me, I become unhappy. So then I dance at the tune of what is Mithya, and then Mithya decides whether I am happy or unhappy. 
Mithya is unpredictable. Vikara is always changing. And so, only when Mithya is known as Mithya, then I say, okay, you cannot add anything to me. Nor can you take away anything from me. When that is so, then I am very accommodative. It can come, it can go, it can be where it is. I need not make it mine. I need not grow as you if it belongs to you. Nor should I be bothered about making it mine. Because by making it mine, it does not add anything to me. And by your by becoming yours, it doesn't take away anything from me. Then all the competition is gone, all jealousy, everything is gone. Life is full of that stuff everywhere. Because everything is so precious to us. This will go away from me. This is my property. And so nobody should take anything away from that. I am zealously protecting everything. There is always a fear that what I am protecting will be taken away from me. And what will happen to me? Because my security, my well-being depends upon that. I think that I am so great because of that. Because my well-being comes from something else, that, that something else becomes very important to me. Whole life goes into this. Always protecting, holding on to and then manipulating and all kinds of stuff going on all the time. Poor human being really suffers. But when I know Mithya is Mithya, all right, is here, well and good, there, well and good. I respect it wherever it is, whatever it is, however it is. <clears throat> Big relief. That's called freedom. So taking Mithya to be Satyam is a great source of, I mean, source of all the problems. All the hard burns, problems in every way. Mithya is Mithya. Okay. Then I give freedom to Mithya. Because he can't add anything to me, cannot take away anything from me. I give it the freedom. Our Swami says, give them the freedom and enjoy the freedom. <clears throat> That's what Vedanta seeks us to become. So, Yadavai Vijanati, when he knows the truth, then he speaks to us. So, Ativaditvam, becoming Ativadi is our goal. Ativadi, I become when I know the truth. He has satyena ativadati. One who becomes ativadi by virtue of the knowledge of satyam. Yadave vijanati asa satyam vadati. So for becoming ativadi, I should know the satyam. How? Yajave vijanati. When he knows, then he becomes, then he speaks truth. So for becoming Ativadi, I should speak truth. For speaking truth, I should know the truth. And then, then as Vasekara said, Agnyadi Shabdai Shabdena Agnyadin Paramara Sadrupan Manyamana Vadati Navijanan Satyam Vadati as long as it takes this Vikara Jatam, the universe made up of the three elements, the earth and water and fire and whatever as Satyam, so long all that is real to him, then what happens to Satyam becomes very important to me. Natute Rupatre Vyatirekene Paramatadha Santi but when he realizes that what is called fire and sun and the moon and whatever it is, I am never apart from Rupatra, apart from three colors. Yagneh Rohitam Rupam Tejas Rupam. The red color in the fire belongs to the element Tejas. Yet Shuklam Tadapam, the white color that belongs to fire, 
comes from up or the wa element water. Yet Krishnam Tadannasya and the black color comes from the element earth. So what we call fire are nothing but three colors, three elements. And they in turn are nothing but satya. So therefore, na avijanan satyam vadati, vijanan eva satyam vadati. Knowing satyam, he speaks satyam. Naja, tas satya vijnanam avijignasitam apparathitam jnayate. That knowledge also does not come right away. It is yatna sadhyam. The knowledge of satyam also is yatna sadhyam. It is to be achieved by adequate and proper effort. So, nacha tat satya vijnanam avijignasitam apratitam jnayate. Unless you are vijignasa. So, jignasa is desire to know. So, desire to know the knowledge, you know. So, Vashtakar explained, Vijignasitam, Prathitam. Not that you desire to know the knowledge, but then you desire to get the knowledge. You seek the knowledge. Pray for the knowledge. So, Vijignasitam, Vijignasitam, Prathaniyatvam lakshare by lakshana vritti. Vijigna vachyata is one should seek to know. By, by lakshana vritti, vijigna sitavyam, prathayitavyam, prathaniyam. That which is to be prayed for, to be sought. So you must seek the knowledge. Meaning that you must make the adequate effort. To gain the knowledge. Vijnanam cha vijjnasadavya miti. Deva Santkuma said, Hey Narada, understand that you have to seek this knowledge. You have to make the right and adequate effort to gain this knowledge. Yadi evam vijjnanam bhago vijjnasayiti. If this is so, then, O Venerable Sir, I want to gain that knowledge. What, what is the means of gaining the knowledge? So you must adopt that means in order to gain the knowledge. So the knowledge becomes a sadhyam and then sadhana. So proper sadhana must be there for sadhyam or knowledge to take place. Therefore the next passage says, Yadave manute atha vijanati. So, what is the means of gaining the knowledge of Satyam? Yadavai manute. Matihi mananam. Tarkaha. Vashakara said that you have to reflect upon the meaning of the statements of the scripture. So, what is the means of knowledge? Upanishad is the means of knowledge. Vedanta Nama Upanishad Pramanam. So what is called Vedanta is Upanishad. And that's the Pramanam, that's the means of knowledge. Upanishad is in the form of words or statements. And therefore those words have to be understood in the same sense in which the Upanishad or Shruti intends to use, conveys. So we should know the intention of Shruti. So not only in any communication, it is not enough that we simply know the literal meaning. We should know what the speaker intended to convey through those words. You can take the literal meaning and hold him, you say this and that of salt, but I did not mean that. Similarly, Shruti is, uses his words with something in mind. 
And in many cases, not the literal meaning or the vachyartha, but the lakshyartha is important. The implied meaning, the targeted meaning is different. So there were whether vachyartha should be taken or lakshyartha should be taken. All of this requires mananam, tarka, reasoning, deliberation. Mimamsa, meaning that we have to properly analyze the statements of Vedanta to understand the meaning. So here by Manana we should understand Mimamsa or the analysis of those statements. Analysis always requires proper reasoning. <clears throat> so Vijnanasya Yatna Sadhyatna Muktam Taniva Yatna Vishaya Sadhanani Aha That Vijnanava knowledge is to be attained by yatna or by proper effort. So what are those efforts? Yadavai manute. Then Bhāsekara says, evam satyādīnām ca uttar uttarānām karoti dhyantānām pūrupūru hetuttvam vyākhyayam That subsequent passages present the means, subsequent means, each following one is the means for attaining the preceding one. Each preceding one is sadhya. Each following one is sadhanam. So, ativaditvam is sadhya. What is sadhanam? Satyavadanam is sadhanam. Speaking truth. But when do you speak truth? Yadave vijanati. When you know, then you know the truth, then you speak the truth. How do you know the truth? Yadave manute atha vijanati. When do mananam, reflection, deliberation, mimamsa, analysis, then you gain the knowledge. How do you do mananam? Yadave, yadave shraddha dhati. When there is shraddha, then mananam is possible. When will you have shraddha? This is when you serve the teacher. How do you serve the teacher? Yadave karoti, when he does what is required to be done. And when do you do that? Yadave sukham lavate, when there is a promise of happiness in that, that's when you do. That thus, a series of sadhanani. They are all related here. <coughs> so now we can go to the next passage, page 329. Yadavai dhati Athamanude Na Ashraddhadhan Manute Shraddhadeva Manute Shuddhatveva Vajignasitavya ite Shuddham Bhagavo Vajignase ite Yadavi Shuddhati Athamanute Then Manam or the so analysis main effort. Really, vichara, we should say here, mananam means vichara. Shravanam, mananam, that is nyasanam. That is what is the means for knowledge. Atmavare, drashtavya, shrutavya, mantavya, that is nyasatavya. So, darshanam, the aparoksha jnanam, the immediate knowledge of atma is what is to be gained. For that, shravanam, mananam, that is nyasanam, that is the means. So, Yadavai Manude, we should include everything. Shravanam, Mananam, Yadhyasa. Meaning that we would expose ourselves to the unfoldment of scriptures by the teacher. When do you do that? Yadavai Shraddha Dhati. When one has Shraddha. So, you have looked at the earlier, 
मंत्र विषय आदर है श्रद्धा श्रद्धा अथवा मंत्र विषय आदर है सो वेन इज आदर है यह दे से दैट वेन इज लव और डिवोशन फॉर मंत्र विषय द सब्जेक्ट यू नो द मैटर और द एंटिटी दैर इज टू बी रिफ्लेक्टेड अपॉन विच इज द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ विचार इज ब्रह्म सो अथा तो ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा अथा तो ब्रह्म विचार कर्तव्य है सो ब्रह्म इज दी सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ विचार वेन यू डू विचार वर्ड इज विचार श्रवणम मननम ध्यासन इसको विचार वेन डू डू ऑल ऑफ दैट वेन दी श्रद्धा वही श्रद्धा मंतव्य विषय आदर है when there is love or when there is a commitment for brahman which is a mantra vishaya manna means vichara vichara vishaya is brahman for brahman when you have the love or vasya kare this astik ke buddhi shraddha in page 329 vasya kare let us read that astik ke buddhi श्रद्धा अस्तिक की बुद्धि हैव इज ट्रांसलेटेड नाइसली श्रद्धा इज फेज इज फेज दैट अस्तिक क्या अस्ति इति बुद्धि द थिंग इन क्वेश्चन रियली एग्जिस्ट्स दैट ब्रह्मन रियली एग्जिस्ट्स देयर इज समथिंग कॉल ब्रह्मन यू नो बट बेटर देन दैट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ श्रद्धा इज शास्त्रस्य गुरुवाक्य सत्य बुद्ध्यावधारणा सा श्रद्धा कथिता सद्भिया वस्तुपलभ्य सद्भि सत्पुरुष द लर्न द वाइस पीपल को दिस थिंग श्रद्धा शास्त्र से गुरुवाक्य सत्य बुद्ध्यवधारणा अवधारणा ए कन्विक्शन इन माय माइंड शास्त्र से द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ शास्त्र गुरु वाक्य से द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ गुरु वो सब दिमाग सत्यम से कन्विक्शन इन माई माइंड एन इम्प्लीजिट ट्रस्ट दर आई हैव आई हैव एन इम्प्लीजिट ट्रस्ट इन दी शास्त्र उपनिषद उपनिषद इज प्रमाण फॉर गेनिंग नॉज ए ब्रह्मन The only means available to us is Upanishad. Upanishad alone so reveals the nature of reality, because that is the basic uh, agenda of the Upanishad. Is to reveal the nature of realities. What's the reality of the self? What's the reality of the world? <coughs> What's the reality of God or Ishvara? And then, what Upanishad reveals is true. What Upanishad says about me is true. What it says about Jagat is true. What it says about Brahman is true. Brahma Satyam, Jagan Mithya, Jeevo Brahma Yevanapara. Upanishad Brahma Satyam, Brahma Ni Satyam. Jagat is Mithya. See all the three are told here. What is Ishvara? Is Brahman is Satyam? That is real truth. Or say the Jagat, Jagat Mithya, Jagat is Mithya. What about me? Jeevo Brahma Yevana Par hai. The one who looks upon oneself as Jeeva is none other than Brahman. So an implicit trust in this that this is what it is. And Then this is what I have to make a reality in my life. I do whatever is to be done to make this vision a reality in my life. Because then, again, that by knowing this truth, this knowledge is the means of paramapurusha, moksha, which I am seeking. 
This knowledge is the means of moksha. All of his shraddha must be there. Or all of the understanding must be there. First of all, a clarity about what I am seeking. That what I am seeking is moksha. Nothing less than that. And then moksha liberation is the result of knowledge because it is the knowing of what is already there. Like the tenth man. Therefore, I have to know the true nature of myself. I have to see that fact. And so, that's the, that's the means of that knowledge, the means of moksha. That also should be clear. So, what I want is moksha. The knowledge of the self is the means of moksha. And, our vichara, shastra vichara. A deliberation upon the statement of scripture is the means of knowledge of the self. How do you do that, Vichara? By listening to the unfoldment of scriptures from the lips of the teacher. All of this must be clear. You can do Vichara by yourself also. I mean, you can take the books right in front of you, you can do that. But as Vashyakara says, Shastra Gnyobi Swatantrena. Brahman Vaishnam Nakuriyat. That even though one may be a scholar, one should not undertake the deliberation of Brahman independent of the teacher. So then comes the teacher. So then faith in teacher, then the teacher is telling us what the scriptures are telling us. You know? Since your access to the scriptures is only through the teacher, then teacher is a link that connects you with the scriptures and scriptures are the link that connect you with God or truth. So basically what you want is freedom. That is my knowledge of truth and scriptures are the link between you and the truth and the Guru is the link between you and the scripture. So therefore, astrika would be, uh, there, I mean, you know, astrika would be a very inadequate definition anyway, but that's, is all right as far as that, you know, this definition comes from all karmakanda things, the is swarga, this devata are there, agnihotra di karma, when do you do that agnihotra karma, that you will get swarga, now that is a trust, that there is swarga, there is punya, papa and all that, because all of these are unknown to you. He also, you can say that Brahma is, you begin with that. Astitya upalabdhavya tattva bhavena chovayo astitya upalabdhasya tattva bhava prasidati. First, one has to accept that Brahma is. And when you are completely in tune with that Brahma is, and what is Brahman? Then Brahman reveals itself as your own self. So all of this is Shraddha. Shastrasya, Guru Vakyasya. The statement of scriptures and the statement of the teacher. That they are true. That I can trust them. I can take them literally true. That is a big faith, you know, it's not an ordinary thing. In fact, your whole life is, uh, you know, is in fact offered there. You are offering yourself. So when that Shraddha is there, then there is no doubt in my mind, basically. Satya, that is true. So I don't question. I don't question what the Upanishad says. I do not question what the teacher says. Basically, it is that disposition of mind that is required to really understand the meaning of these words. For the words to reveal themselves in your mind, you require that kind of a disposition of mind, which is called Shraddha. As we say, the kind of relationship that we have with all Pramanam, right now these words are being less heard, now, we don't struggle in our mind. 
that whether my ears are telling me exactly what the Swami is speaking or are they saying something else. I don't have that struggle. It is taken for granted that my faculty of hearing is really revealing to me what Swami is saying. Taken for granted. That's question the But I don't question. Wait a minute. My ears are telling me that Swami is speaking in English. No, he can't be. He's not speaking in Gujarati. Moment you start questioning the pramanam, then all problems arise. So kind of relationship that we have with our means of knowledge is similar to that. How comfortable I am. My mind is free from all conflict. Similarly, my listening teacher also, the same trust is there. That I am comfortable. My mind is receptive. And that's where in the receptive mind, the meaning of the words will, will be revealed. <coughs> there were two things that Manta Vivishe Adara, number one. That love for Brahman, which is what you want to know. Astikya Buddhi, the, the trust in the words of the scriptures and the teacher. <coughs> Here, on the page 328 and line 34, the Tikakara says, So, Shraddha Shraddha Tamaha Mantra Vishay Adar Then says, Guru Uktarthe Adar Abhave Tad Vishay Manam Nakaro Devi Tatra Tasse Hetutam Ityartha Guru Uktarthe Adar Abhave You don't have Adar and respect. Reverence, devotion, love for Guru Uktarthe. In what the Guru is revealing, I don't have that love or respect or reverence or trust. Mananam na karodi. Because after listening from teacher also, I have to do my homework. So what the scriptures and teachers say is something in general, then I have to make it particular, how it applies to me. What does this mean in my own life? All of that I will do provided I have the trust in the words of the teacher. So tad vishaya mananam na karodi. In absence of shraddha, the mananam does not take place. So you hear all right, it's okay. So very often people watch this TV and then you know, they listen to Mahatma. They don't, I don't know he knows what he's talking about. Dismiss it. Meaning that you do not give any benefit. You don't reflect upon it. It doesn't do anything to you. It doesn't help you at all. So that is the Shraddha. The next one. So then, then said said Narada. So then said Sanat Kumara said, Shraddha Tveo Vijigna Sadabhyayati. He Narada, the Shraddha has to be sought. Meaning that you require the Shraddha. Shraddha Mago Vijigna Sadi. I am seeking Shraddha means. I wish to know the means of cultivating Shraddha. In Narada, you must cultivate Shraddha for doing Mananam. Then only if Shraddha is there, then only Mananam will be effective. But Shraddha also has to be cultivated. Meaning Shraddha also Yatna Sadhya. Shraddha also is accomplished as a result of a proper and adequate effort. Shraddham Bhagavo Vijigna Sayati O Venerable Sir, I seek to know, I want to know the means of cultivating Shraddha. So each thing in turn becomes important to Narada. Most important is Swam Bhagavo Shuchami Tan maam bhagavan shukasya param tarayatu iti. Even though I am what I am, I am still grieving. 
the venerable sir may please help me cross the ocean of grief that is most important how do you do that yadave ativadi bhavadi so then we have to assume that when you become ativadi you become free from grief and you get established in ananda how you become ativadi when you speak truth how do you speak truth when you know truth when you know truth when you do mananam when do you do mananam when you shut that so that becoming free from grief is most important then adivaritam becomes important then vijnanam becomes important therefore mananam becomes important therefore shraddha becomes understand that to me sanskrit became important because then only you can understand bhashya properly that's how interest in sanskrit was developed because knowing sanskrit was a requirement for understanding bhashya which was and what was the requirement for understanding the scripture which was the requirement for gaining the knowledge you know that's how one thing becomes important on the account of that thing and then only you know why you want that you know why do you want sanskrit otherwise you get distracted there also because pursuit of sanskrit can be independent thing it's not that everybody studies sanskrit for vedanta no so study of sanskrit is an independent discipline and its own pleasure and gratification you get a great intellectual gratification wow look at what pani what what pani vyakranam is just mind wow every time they when they go to astrology every day they something you know the flavor gets to wow so astrology so many different levels and people get just totally drowned into that so every branch of knowledge is like that that you can get consumed by that if you are not clear why do you want that then that becomes a means instead of end and becomes end instead of means but here it is very clear but i want this for this purpose my purpose is knowledge for that scriptures are important for that bhashya is important for that sanskrit is important for that tarka is important for that that much tarka that much mimamsa that much sanskrit required for this and this tarka is the some people are there. you know even tarka also give such great delight intellectual delight that people get distracted mimamsa everything is amazing each branch of knowledge is is is, is very uh, challenging and also very gratifying anyway so now shuddha is important say nayada so oh venerable sir please tell me how can i cultivate shuddha in the next passage yadavai nistishthate atha shuddha dhati na anistishthan shuddha dhati nistishthan neva श्रद्धाते निष्ठात्वेव विजिज्ञासदव्या इति निष्ठां भगवो विजिज्ञासे इति यदावे निस्तिष्ठते मीन निस्तिष्ठते मीन व्हेन वन हैज निष्ठा ने प्लस स्था स्थातिष्ठते निस्ता निस्तिष्ठते मीनिंग दैट व्हेन वन हैज निष्ठा दैट्स व्हाट इट मींस दैट इज व्हेन वन हैज द डिवोशन और डिवोटेड सर्विस इज निष्ठा इज इंटरप्रेटेड एज द डिवोटेड सर्विस सो व्हेन यदावे निस्तिष्ठते when one serves with devotion atha shraddha dhati so shraddha in the teacher arises when one serves the teacher 
Going back to this Tika on the page 328. So that, that comes even later, I think, yeah. Oh yeah, Bhashyaka. Let us read the Bhashya explanation. Nishtha Bhushushushadehe Tatparatvam Brahma Vijnanaya Nishtha Guru Sushushushadehe Sushushan means Seva. Sushusha can be desire to learn, desire to listen, or desire to serve. Here, Guru Sushusha. So both meanings are taken by the Tikakara. So Guru Sushusha is the devoted service to the teacher. Tat Paratvam, steadfastness in the devoted service to the teacher. That's what it means. Nishtha Guru Sususha Tat Paratvam. What is Tat Paratvam? Steadfastness. In what? In Guru Sususha, in serving the teacher, etc. So, what is etc.? The Tikakara says, Brahma Jnanaya Guru Susushadi Tat Paratvam Tat Paratvam Nishtha Sarvam Api Grahitam Sangrahitam. So not only you devotedly serve the teacher, but then you expose yourself to the listening to the teacher. <clears throat> but I think it's a bit too early because that takes place after Shraddha. It is Manute that involves Shravana, Manu, etc. But then Shushusha can be Chotamicha, so also desire to serve, hear or desire to serve both. <clears throat> but here, Basically, meaning is what? The steadfastness. Steadfastness is in abundance. In the devoted service to the teacher. That's called Nishtha. So, Nishtha alone is in the verbal form Nistishthati. Yadavaya Nistishthati Atha Shabdadhavi. So, that's when you come to know the teacher. How to? This is the way to know the person. Basically. So our scriptures say that the way to know the person is to surrender to a person and serve the person. Tadvidhi Pranipadena Pariprasnena Sevaya. So Pranipada is first Dirika Namaskara or the long prostration. Then there is a sign of surrender is first. So service done with the spirit of surrender. Because service can be done anyway. Without that spirit also. So watch the Lord Krishna says, Dhavan Lamadigna. So we serve the teacher with devotion. With trust that here I am I'm devoted, I am surrendered, this is my protector that I am safe and secure here. So then your mind is open. Then you don't question the teacher. Why did you do this? That thing is not there. Then you understand everything about the teacher, you know. Because what the teacher is, is what the teacher knows, because he is speaking truth. Speaking is not only just words. The whole body language, everything is speaking, really. We are communicating not only through words, but also through our body language, through everything that we do. So, presuming the teacher is speaking truth, then you get that by coming in contact with him. Contact with devotion, with surrender. So then you come to know the teacher then realize that he is what he is, you know, talking about. That's how the Shraddha is cultivated. So here the Upanishad says, this means for gaining Shraddha is Nishtha. Meaning Guru Shushushadi, serving the teacher, etc. 
and whatever age the teacher needs. So that may include also taking the, grazing the cows and stuff like that. I don't know. Whatever it is that is needed by the teacher. Tatpartam, steadfastness. For what? Brahma Vijnanaya. So you are serving a person not for any ulterior motive. No, there is no other agenda. The only agenda that this seeker, aspirant has, Brahma Vijnana, for the knowledge of Brahma. That is also very clear. That all you want is knowledge of Brahma. And that is, you see, that clarity of your agenda helps you establish a healthy relationship. If you want something else from the, the person, other than Brahma which means be some worldly things. Then the relationship are different kind, understand? Our relationship is characterized by what our agenda is. Husband wants something from wife and wife wants something from husband. Then the relationship is established accordingly. In course of time you find that what you want it does not come along, the relationship doesn't remain. A relationship does not remain because you are disillusioned that you don't get what you expected. So in all relationships some expectations are there. So what is this relationship? Brahma Jnana. You do not want any, this is a rare thing anyway, these are all ideal things. That you don't want anything other than Brahma Jnana. But anyway, ideally, you approach the teacher for Brahma Jnana, for the knowledge of Brahma. When you are serving, you are doing what you are doing for Brahma Jnana. And therefore, what will be important about teacher is that aspect of teacher that relates to Brahma Jnana is important. Yanyana Vadyani Karamani Tani Sevita Vyani Nuitarani Yanyasmatam Sucharitani Tani Tayopasani Nuitarani. The teacher says to the disciple, Yani Avadyani Karamani. When you go out of the Gurukulam, Make sure that you do not do anything which is improper, which is not accepted by the society, which is not according to dharma. But then what the teacher does is what he says, no? Yani asmakam sucharitani, tanitvayopasyani. No, even in our conduct also, what is sucharitani? What is the right charitra? That is what you should imitate, emulate. No itarani. In us also you find something which is not all right. Don't emulate that. So what do we emulate is all with the agenda of Brahma Vidya. That's the idea here. Anyway. <coughs> so that's how Nishtha becomes the means for Shraddha. So na anistishtan Shraddha dharate without Nishtha, without the devoted service, Shraddha does not arise. This Trishtan Neva Shraddha Dhade, only with that steadfastness in the devoted service, the Shraddha arises. Nishthatya Vijignasa Dabhyayati, He Sahib Narada, the Nishtha, a steadfast and service also, has to, be, has to be cultivated, has to be acquired, attained, meaning that it is necessary for you to adopt a proper means so that you do that shraddha, you do that nishtha, I mean you do that uh, service to the teacher. So, nishtha tve vijignasa tavyayate, nishtha mago vijignasa yate. O Venerable Sir, I want to know how the nishtha can be cultivated, how steadfastness in devoted service. How can I be, how can I gain that devotion? How can I get that? Please tell me. Then the next passage says. So Anandagiri has nothing much to add. Manana Hetu Bhutam Shraddham Vyakarodhi. Shraddha Hetu Nishtham Vyasaste.
Let us, let us read the complete the sentence in the page 328. Brahma Jnana ya Guru Sushru Shadi Tattva Rupaya Nishthaya Shravana Vigrihitam. So because the Guru Sushrusha or the service to the rich is done for Brahma Jnana, so Adi, that Tika Gaya says that, by the word Adi or etc., you should include the Shravanam also. Sacha Mantra Vishay Adar Hetuhu. Because the Shravanam becomes the means for the love for Mantra Vishay, which is for Manana. So unless there is knowledge of Brahman, the Adara or love for Brahman does not arise. And so, Shravan is required as a means of Manana. Then Sri Dhananagiri, Nishthanadadam, Kruti Mivajate. Nidana means cause. The cause of Nishtha is Kruti. That is what now is the next passage. Yadavai Karavate. Atha Nisteshthade. Na. Akrutva Nisteshthade. Krutva Eva Nisteshthade. Krutistu Eva Vijignasa Dabya Ide Krutim Bhago Vijignasa Ide Alright, so how do we get Nishtha? The devoted service? Yadavi Karoti That service is required for you to do something. Service cannot be a mental thing. Service means physical you do something, yadavai karoti. At a physical level, when this aspirant does what is required for serving the teacher. Atha nishtishtati. So the nishtha, the steadfastness and the devoted service requires a person to do what is appropriate to do in terms of service. Requires to act. Na krutva nishtishtade, without doing that, it is not possible to cultivate nishtha. So let's see what Bhashyakara says. Yadavai karote, krute he, indriya sanyamaha, chitta ika girda karanam cha, satyam itasthyam, Nishtha Dene Yathoktani Bhavande Vijnana Avasanane So Vashyakara explains Krutihi. So what does Upanishad mean? What does Kruti means? Action. So Yadavi Kruti Indya Sanyama. So Shraddhavan Lapade Jnanam Tatpara Sanyata Indriya. So, Shraddha can be obtained when Tatparta, all the devoted service is there. And that is possible when Sanyata Indriya, Indriya Sanyama is there. So, in order to serve somebody, you require a great discipline. Chittai Kadrata Karanamcha and the concentration of mind also. You must be very alert. Not only devoted is it, not only you are devoted. You should be efficient also. Sometimes we are devoted all that, but if you do, if you are not observant, not careful about what the person needs, what the actual needs are, etc., you do recognize that. That requires you to concentrate your mind on the teacher. On all along, you concentrate upon that what the teacher needs and you know what he likes, what he does not like, etc. All of these must be very clear to the to the shishya. Then only he can offer that service without asking for it. Although every time you bring this and bring that and do this and do that, you know, that's okay. But right, 
servant or shishya is the one who does it you know, before being asked. So one who does when asked is a middle middling shishya. One who does without being asked is the uttam shishya. So therefore that requires indriyas number one, indriyas sanyama. That you, you, you are alert and don't do anything other than what is required. Otherwise, let me, let me watch that. What does this thing say? What does, so you are doing that. Now that teacher is, is, is in need of something and here you are doing something else. You know? So Indriya Sanyam means that you are totally devoted here. And your sense organs and mind are only directed towards this and nothing else. <coughs> In this same is of course speaking what is the right to speak, otherwise not speaking. Not looking where you should not look, not hearing what you should not hear, not going where you should not go, not doing what you should not do, not eating what you should not eat, at every level. Then only service is possible. I was, I'm sorry, I was sleeping, I'm sorry, I went for a cup of tea, I'm sorry, you know, then you keep on saying sorry. Because Indriya Sanyam is not there. So Indriya Sanyam is required that you are not distracted at all. Your attention is totally on what is to be done. And secondly, Chittai Kagrada Karanam, concentration of mind, is the alertness required to understand what is to be done? So Indriya Sanyama or the control of the sense organs is doing what is to be done. In Chittai Kagrata Karanam, concentration of mind is to know what is to be done. To understand what is to be done and doing what is to be done. Sometimes you don't understand what is to be done. And sometimes even we know what is to be done, we are not doing it. Because either we are distracted or, or you know, something else to do. So, Chitti Kagrada Karanam, concentration of the mind, so that the Shishya knows exactly what the Guru needs because he has observed. And, in this Yamaha, doing exactly what is to be done, when it is to be done. <coughs> In terms of service, that's the meaning. What is what other meaning can there be? So Vashakare Satyamitasyam Vilit Kruti of the nature of nature of the control of sense organs and alertness is there. The nishtha dini, the nishtha happens, when nishtha happens, then shraddha happens, when shraddha happens, then mananam happens. When none of them, vijnana happens. So, meaning that this is required at all stages. Kruti in the sense of the control of our sense organs and the concentration of mind is required not only in seva, but all subsequent steps also require them. Tasyami satyam nishthadeni yathoktani bhavande then Nishtha, Shraddha, as I said, all of these things take place. Vijnana Avasana, leading all the way up to Vijnanam or knowledge. <coughs> Here, the Tikakara says in line 32, Indi Srimadhi Rupaya Krutehe Katham Shranadi Hedutva says Indriya Sanyam Kruti of the nature of Indriya Sanyam the, the control over the sense organs. Of that Kruti, Katham Shramada Hedutvam So Kruti characterized by Indriya Sanyam. How does that become the Hetu or means of Shramanam, etc. Taya Vinabhi Guru Lava Guru Lavali Dushta Samagriya Eva Tat Siddhe. But you have the Guru in front of you. Guru Lavali, Guru is there, Guru is talking, you are listening. So it's taking place. 
సో వై డూ నీ నెట్ కృతి ఆ నేచర్ విందే సంయమ అండ్ చిత్త ఏకాగ్రత ఇది ఆశంకే తస్తమల నిరాకరణ ద్వారా తత్ఫలోత్పత్తు హేతుత్వా వెన్ ఇంద్రియ సంయమ ఇస్ దర్ చిత్తేకాగ్రత ఇస్ దర్ దెన్ చిత్తమల నిరాకరణ ద్వారా దిస్ నిరాకరణం ఎలిమినేషన్ ఆఫ్ చిత్తమల ఇంప్యూరిటీ ఆఫ్ ద మైండ్ అండ్ సో మీనింగ్ దాట్ దిస్ కాన్సన్ట్రేట్ అవే ది సెన్ కంట్రోల్ ఆఫ్ ద సెన్స్ ఆర్గన్స్ and concentration of mind lead to the purification of mind which is required all the stages tat phalo utpatto the teacher may be there but you cannot benefit from him shravanam is there we don't get any benefits unless chitta mala nivrutti removal of the impurity of the mind is there and that can be there provided there is a devoted service with concentration of the mind and with control over sense organs కారణీ సో when the skruti of the nature of the concentration of mind and the control of senses is there then only each one leads to the other meaning that when kruti leads to nishta when indriya samyama and chitta ekagrata is there nishta leads to shraddha when indriya samyama chitta ekagrata is there shraddha leads to mananam when indriya samyama chitta ekagrata is there that's how we will understand okay om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyade purnasya purnamada ya purnamevavashishyade om shanti shanti శంకరం శంకరాచార్యం కేశవం బాలరాయణం సూత్రభాష్యకృత వందే భగవంతో పునః పునః ఈశ్వరో గురురాత్మేది మూర్తి భేద విభాగినే వ్యోమవ్యాప్త దేహాయ దక్షిణామూర్తయే నమః శాంతిశాంతిశాంతి హరి ఓ శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ హరి ఓ